Have you heard about Tangeri? Of course! Cousin Panzer would have introduced you. No? Oh well. Since the game is still in development, how about a Tangeri guide? Seems a good idea indeed. If you are making me your instructor, get ready for unbrief teachings. Let's get started. Yo, it's me, Cabernet, and we're here today for another tankery guide. For those who got disgusted from my first guide, that's okay, I wasn't well prepared. This is a guide for French tanks, no worries, I'm prepared. Let's get this show on the road. First up, the MX-30. It's in the Cold War tech tree. To summarize this tank, fast reload of 3.8 seconds, damage not lower than 280 and above 320 hit points decent speed and acceleration yet armor rating is slightly weaker than the leopard one has average penetration and shell velocity this tank can hold down find the suitable terrain to hide your more braces but for mx30 it's slightly helpful. The players can hit this with the cola while doing this move. Take note, don't do a hold down if your terrain is slightly downhill. The slow front will be useless and gun depression is needed. Snapping for enemies far away can reduce armor penetration value. Don't hesitate to use SP shells when in doubt. This was a good situation. Time to use the pick of your tactics. Observe your terrain and try to shoot them. But in quicker response, take note that gun depression is needed. If you feel being overrun soon, with low HP, don't hesitate to fall back. Don't worry, your allies at the rear guard can secure your retreat. If not, just be careful retreating. You can also shoot back at them if you want. If you retreated safely, pick quick shots at them and it's a good revenge at its finest. And that's the guide for MX-30. Next is the Batchat 25T or the Batchalion 25T. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it well. By the way, it's an autoloader with 3 shells per clip. To summarize this tag, this tag can harass enemy tags. I'm sure you'll like it. Good mobility, but less hit points. Total of 650 to 800 damage per magazine. In terms of harassing, you'll need a decent sniping position. Once you're up, fire at your own accord. Once you're bored or no enemies to harass, how about a good roving session? And if you see a target getting distracted, don't hesitate, flank it by surprise. Well, a kind of a good situation. Well, you see more enemies? And go, harass! And this bug is really helpful. <laughs> really. But just be careful though. Doing this with your ass exposed. Ah, nah, -uh. not really good. Well, if you wanna suicide, there's just 
Ah. <laughs> oh, I remember this. <laughs> Ah, a full HP enemy tank, and you're in half bar. Time to use it again. Since you're using an auto loader, you can execute this better with caution. Just do it till you've chipped away that full block of HP. And then roam again. Or just come back to that place you've left and harass again. And that's the guide for that chat 25 tier. <laughs> And the last one is the MX-56 Lurk. Well actually this MBT is found in the NATO Tech 3 G4 and you know mostly MBTs are the same with different properties. Well, gameplay mm, seem pretty much the same to me. If you watch that Italian bullshit that I just made. Uh, I play it similar to it either. Well, how can I summarize this tank anyway? Good DPS, 800 plus per 6 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then, what's more is it can hold down, but uh, I won't recommend it. Plus, it has no depression at all. Merely no depression. And also good mobility, I like it. Yeah, you can see that. That position from C1 Ariete, if you watch that. Oh my. Am I being nostalgic? <laughs> oh my. Whoop -wah. Well, that's it for the video. Stay at home. Stay cheeky breaky. And see you next time.